Welcome back, space enthusiasts. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey into the depths of the cosmos, where groundbreaking discoveries await us. Join me as we delve into the fascinating world of K218b, a distant exoplanet with tantalizing hints of life. I'm your host, Name, and this is Exploring K218b, The New Frontier. Imagine this, the thrill of a lifetime, standing on the precipice of discovery, the cosmos beckoning with the tantalizing possibility of life beyond our wildest dreams. Picture a group of scientists, hearts pounding, minds racing, as they grapple with the question that has haunted humanity for centuries, are we alone in the universe? In the hushed corridors of NASA, amidst the hum of computers and the glow of monitors, a hushed conversation unfolds. What do you put the chances of having found life at this stage? One whispers, voice tinged with both excitement and trepidation. I would say 50 slash 50. Another replies, the words hanging in the air like a promise and a challenge all at once. It took me about a week to muster the courage to even think that that's anywhere close to real and to break it to my own group, my own students. Working with them, you don't just shrug it off. You're shell-shocked for a while, and then we slowly all come together, united by the sheer magnitude of what we might have discovered. For many more months, we toil away, poring over data, running simulations, testing hypotheses. Weeks bleed into months, and still the answer eludes us, tantalizingly close yet frustratingly out of reach. But we press on, driven by a relentless curiosity, a burning desire to unlock the secrets of the cosmos. And then, one fateful day, it happens. We have it. The evidence we've been searching for, buried within the vast expanse of space. We've robustly established it, verified it, confirmed it beyond a shadow of a doubt. And then, finally, we publish. For decades, the quest to find life beyond our planet has been one of the major objectives in the field of science. And now, in ASA's powerful James Webb Space Telescope could be on the brink of making the biggest discovery ever. Situated approximately 120 light years away from Earth, within the habitable zone of its star, there's a planet called K218b. For years, it has held scientists in its thrall, with its tantalizing promise of the unknown. Discovered first in the year 2015, this exoplanet garnered a lot of attention when scientists found water vapor in its atmosphere. That's why, when JWST was launched, K218b was one of the favorite candidates, a shining beacon of hope in the vast expanse of space. A cosmic detective story unfolding in the vast expanse of space with a powerful telescope as our trusty sleuth. The recent surge of interest in a particular planet has set hearts racing and minds worrying with anticipation. What's got everyone so excited? Well, it all comes down to some intriguing new observations of this planet's atmospheric composition. First off, there's methane, a tantalizing hint that maybe, just maybe, there's life out there. Methane is considered a possible biosignature, a clue that life might be thriving beyond our own blue marble. But that's not all. There's also an abundance of carbon dioxide and a curious absence of carbon monoxide. Sounds a bit like home, doesn't it? Earth-like characteristics in a far-flung corner of the cosmos. Yet, the real kicker is the potential detection of dimethyl sulfide, or DMS for short. This toxic gas is known on Earth to be produced by certain algae in our oceans. If confirmed, this detection could be the smoking gun evidence of life on another planet. Imagine that, a world teeming with algae, hidden beneath the shimmering surface of an alien ocean. And speaking of oceans, buckle up for this. Based on density data provided by the Webb Telescope, it looks like this planet, K218b, might be one big water world. With an enormous ocean and a thick hydrogen atmosphere, it's like something straight out of science fiction. The water might even be slightly warmer than what we're used to here on Earth, making it a cozy home for all sorts of aquatic wonders. So, 
What does all this mean? Well, put simply, K218b could be the best of both worlds somewhere between a super-Earth and a sub-Neptune. An ocean world par excellence just waiting to be explored. Hold on to your seats, folks, because we've got some groundbreaking news coming in hot methane. Yes, you heard that right, methane. The elusive gas that usually doesn't stick around in atmospheres for more than a couple of years, thanks to good old solar radiation. But here's the kicker, something's refilling it. Something's topping up the methane levels in the atmosphere of this distant planet. And that, my friends, opens up a whole can of cosmic worms. Could this be the smoking gun we've been waiting for? Is this the indirect evidence of life beyond our wildest dreams? Let me tell you, when you're faced with the possibility of such a monumental discovery, it hits you like a ton of interstellar bricks. For us scientists, it's like staring into the abyss and realizing that maybe, just maybe, there's something staring back. And let's not mince words here if this pans out. It's a game changer. The search for life beyond our humble blue planet has been the stuff of legends, the holy grail of scientific inquiry. And if this is the moment we've all been waiting for, well, strap yourselves in because it's going to be one heck of a ride. Now, let's talk about Dr. Niku Madhusudan, the astrophysicist extraordinaire from the University of Cambridge. This trailblazer has been leading the charge in unraveling the mysteries of K218b, peeling back the layers of its makeup and atmospheric quirks. And just last Friday, April 26, the telescope swung back around to take another peek at our celestial neighbor. It's like the universe itself is holding its breath, waiting to see what secrets will be revealed. And you know what? It just happened this morning. Talk about cosmic timing. Am I right? Guess what? We're already ahead of the game here, folks. Bright and early this morning, we snagged those observations, and they're currently beaming their way to us as we speak. Talk about cutting-edge excitement. We're on the edge of our seats, waiting for that data to hit our screens, and you better believe the analysis is about to kick off any moment now. Now, if we catch a whiff of dimethyl sulfide, DMS for short, it's basically like hitting the jackpot in the hunt for habitable planets. Dr. Madhusudan spilled the cosmic beans to the times, and let me tell you, it's a game changer. Here's the kicker. Scientists haven't been able to prove that DMS can be cooked up without the helping hand of living beings. So, if we detect even a hint of it in K218b's atmosphere, well, buckle up because things are about to get wild. Now, let me break it down for you. A crack team from NASAA Research Center and the University of Washington rolled up their sleeves and dove headfirst into the data. They crunched the numbers using not one, but two sets of models. The first model paints a picture of rocky planets with oceans, some with life, some without. Meanwhile, the second set of models focuses on gas giants, sans surface, sans life. It's like a cosmic choose-your-own-adventure, and let me tell you, the results are mind-blowing. According to their findings, K218b isn't likely to be a barren water world. Oh no, this baby's got potential and lots of it. So brace yourselves, folks, because we're about to rewrite the textbooks on what it means to be a habitable planet. A world with just the right amount of methane to match up with the observations from our trusty J, double UST. Sounds like a microbial paradise, doesn't it? Simple organisms churning out methane like there's no tomorrow, painting the sky with tantalizing hints of life. It's enough to make your heart skip a beat. But hold on to your telescopes, because here's where things get really interesting. Sure, the idea of a water world teeming with microbial life is enough to set any scientist's pulse racing. But here's the twist. The team stumbled upon something unexpected. Turns out, the model of an uninhabitable, gas-rich exoplanet fits the JWST data like a glove. And here's the kicker, might actually be the easier option. Less fuss, fewer challenges sounds like a dream, right? But wait, there's more. The ocean world model, while tantalizing, comes with its fair share of hurdles. Not only does it need life to explain its atmosphere, 
but it also struggles to keep its cool when it comes to surface temperatures. We're talking a potential runaway greenhouse effect that could leave the planet hotter than a supernova. So, what's the takeaway from all this cosmic head-scratching? Well, it's a bit of a mixed bag, to be honest. Neither model fits perfectly, leaving us with more questions than answers. But fear not, intrepid explorers, for the future holds endless possibilities. Picture this, an exoplanet so infernal, so downright terrifying, that it makes hell look like a vacation spot. Meet WASP-76b, the poster child for extreme planets. This bad boy orbits its parent star at a staggering 48 million kilometers that's practically cuddling distance in cosmic terms. And trust me, you don't want to get too cozy with this fiery behemoth. Why is it so hot? Well, for starters, its parent star is no slouch a yellow-white main sequence star packing about 1.5 times the mass of our sun. Talk about bringing the heat. Now, brace yourselves for this next bit. Astronomers recently spotted something. Unexpected, despite its hellish reputation, WASP-76b decided to throw us a curveball and show off a newfound glory. Yep, you heard that right, glorious. But how, you ask, can a planet straight out of your worst nightmares suddenly shine with newfound splendor? Well, that's the million light year question, my friends. Discovered back in 2013, WASP-76b has been turning heads ever since, defying our expectations at every turn. So here's the kicker if humanity ever evolves into a galaxy-trotting species and decides to swing by WASP-76b for a visit. Just remember, pack your sunscreen and leave your lead umbrellas at home. After all, who knows what other surprises this infernal paradise has in store for us, just 637 light years away. First things first picture this, WASP-76b is tidally locked to its parent star, which means one side of the planet is forever basking in scorching sunlight, while the other is plunged into eternal darkness. Talk about a cosmic case of sunburn and frostbite. Now, let's talk temperatures. We're not talking your average sunny day on Earth here, folks. Oh no, temperatures on the day side of WASP-76b soar to a blistering 2400 degrees Celsius hot enough to vaporize iron. Yeah, you heard me right, iron. That trusty metal we use for everything from buildings to cutlery turns into a gas on this infernal side of the planet. But here's where things get really wild. Those fierce winds whipping across the surface don't just stop at vaporizing iron. Oh no! They carry that iron vapor across to the cooler night side of the planet, where it condenses back into liquid form and comes crashing down as rain. Iron rain, my friends. Talk about a metal meltdown. But that's not even the craziest part. Brace yourselves for this. Astronomers have spotted something truly out of this world, a phenomenon known as glory. Picture this colorful, concentric rings of light dancing in the atmosphere, creating a mesmerizing rainbow effect. It's like Mother Nature decided to throw a cosmic party, and we're all invited. Now, here's the kicker. This glorious spectacle is incredibly rare. In fact, outside of our own solar system, it's only been spotted once before, hanging out in the atmosphere of our neighbor Venus. So why the scarcity? Well, it turns out that creating a cosmic rainbow requires some seriously specific conditions. Think particles in the now, picture this, for the rare and elusive phenomenon known as glory to grace the skies of WASP-76b. We need some seriously specific conditions. We're talking atmosphere particles that are as close to perfectly spherical as you can get, completely uniform, and stable enough to hang around for a good long while. Plus, you need the nearby star to shine its light directly at the planet while being observed by us, the lucky stargazers aboard the European Space Agency's EXO Planet Hunting Mission, affectionately known as CHEOPs. If, and that's a big if repeated observations confirm 
that Glory is indeed strutting its stuff on W, ASP-76B. Well, buckle up folks, because we're in for a cosmic shakeup of epic proportions. Now, let's talk chops. No, not the kind you cook up in the kitchen we're talking about the characterizing exoplanet satellite, or CHEOPS for short. This bad boy has been keeping a close eye on WASP-76B, clocking nearly two dozen observations over the course of three years. Talk about dedication. What caught the scientist's eye, you ask? Well, it turns out that WASP-76B likes to play coy during its transits across its parent star. Picture this. As the planet saunters across the star's face, there's a curious rise in light intensity along its eastern terminator line. You know, the boundary between its night side and day side. And here's the kicker. The researchers reckon this funky light show is all thanks to a directional and reflective phenomenon they've dubbed the glory effect. So, despite the cosmic chaos in the wild ride we're on, it looks like we might just have stumbled upon the tantalizing signs of something truly extraordinary lurking in the depths of space. Stay tuned, fellow cosmic explorers, because the universe never fails to surprise us. Get ready to have your mind blown, folks, because we're about to dive into the mind-boggling world of glory. And no, we're not talking about the kind you find in a trophy case. We're talking about a cosmic phenomenon so faint, so elusive, that it's got scientists scratching their heads and redefining what we thought we knew about exoplanets. But why all the fuss? What makes the glory effect such a big deal for our fiery friend? WASP-76b Well, buckle up, because we're about to uncover some seriously groundbreaking stuff. You see, the presence of glory in the atmosphere of this ultra-hot Jupiter hints at something truly remarkable clouds. But not just any clouds, we're talking clouds made of perfectly round water droplets. And here's the kicker, these clouds have been hanging around for at least three years, or maybe even longer if they're constantly being replenished. Welcome to Blessovia Science TV, where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content as a member of Blisovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe, live Q, and a sessions with experts. Your membership will grant you the chance to participate in live Q and a sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blasovia Science TV member today and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.